That is right. Ice is back with my brand new addition. <laughs> oh, I thought that'd be fun to put a little Ice Ice Baby in the beginning, hence the name Ice Man. So, got a knife review, or not really a review, let's call it an overview. Just got this in. You can see this business card here, some of you I'm sure are familiar with. This is Alex Dietz, a business card. And this was a knife that he pimped. It's an Emerson Mini Commander. Now this has quite a bit of work done to it. It looks, you know, if you look at it, you're thinking, ooh, that's an Emerson Custom. Because that's what Emerson Customs look like. They have these titanium bolsters. They have normally green micarta canvas scales. Um, this is actually unidirectional carbon fiber that's got a really high polish. And it's very, very smooth to touch. And uh, what Alex was going for on this knife was that kind of that CC carry. So it's real smooth. The screws are recessed in the carbon fiber, you can see there. Even the pivot, and the same on this side, you can see the pivot on this side is definitely recessed. So it's very smooth, it's meant to come in and out of your pocket real nicely, it's kind of like that Strider idea of concealed carry, but um, <clears throat> he's done this on this Emerson and it turned out awesome. So, love the titanium bolsters. It's got a carbon fiber backspacer as well, which is also smooth. Very, very smooth. So the knife, the whole knife in general is, is meant to be really smooth. It's not going to be real grippy, but you know, it's actually a really elegant looking knife now. It's got smooth action. You, know, you got your your stone wash blade, your standard Emerson stone wash on there. Looks like he may have polished up the thumb disc. And then the same goes for the pocket clip. I know he polished that. Maybe did a hand rub on that. So, so a sweet knife. I've been wanting to get one of these done by him. Uh, these, these he calls them the poor poor boy setup where or poor boy setup where you know you basically will have the look of an Emerson Custom but not the thousand plus dollar price tag. So and I actually picked this one up um, off Instagram off of the guy that he pimped it for. So I got a scream and deal on it. I actually and here's a comparison to uh, my ZT801, which has been my EDC for the last week. I haven't had a knife that I have kept in my pocket for a week. Um, I don't even remember ever having doing that. So I love the 801. So this is a good size comparison. They're very similar in size. The 801 may have a, just a tad a bit longer on the blade and a tad bit longer on the handle, but both very comfortable in hand. Both fit, you know, really nicely in hand. The ergonomics on Emerson's are awesome. That's kind of not a you know surprise. Everyone knows that. So for me, with medium-sized hands, this is a good size knife. If you have larger hands, you probably want to go with the, the regular size Commander or even the Super Commander. But um, this is actually my second mini commander. I had another one that I bought, um, used off the exchange, and I flipped it pretty quickly. Not that I didn't like it, I just, you know how it is, I had something else on my mind, but this one's so unique. You know, this isn't just your plain black G10. You know, in fact, here's the original scales for this. This was nice to um, include these because if you have, any of you have, uh, feels like they've been sanded down a little bit. Um, they have been. These aren't as grippy as normal Emerson scales, so in case you ever have warranty issues, Emerson, you know, if you send it in like this, they're going to say, well, you modified the knife, sorry, but if you send it in with original scales, it's got the original backspacer in here, you know, you can have your warranty work done it, so it's nice to have those. That's a nice touch, because I know a lot of knife pimpers don't give you the scales back. I've had that happen to me before, so that is a nice touch by Alex there, so he does superb work. I mean, there's no surprise here. Um, and he actually did, I don't know if he did a YouTube video of this knife, I know he did an Instagram video, just a quick video showing it off. So I wanted to kind of show off some of his work for him. I mean, I had that Quaken that I got that was pimped by him. He actually has one of my other knives, my uh, Mini Vanquish, that's going to turn out flipping awesome. I'm excited for it. Hopefully that's done soon. He's been super backed up um, with work. So, so guys are keeping him busy, which is, is good for a, uh, you know aspiring knife maker like Alex. So... He's a great knife pimper, and he's starting to make his own knives, and that's kind of seems to be the to be the um, story lately. You know, like with Tough Thumbs, he's started out as a knife pimper, and now he's making his own custom knives that are just awesome. You know, the Tannic is pretty sick. I mean, it's not everyone's taste, but I think it's well. You know, looks like a really well made knife, and you know, having seen the custom ones he's done for the first twenty, are they're pretty impressive, and it's cool to see these guys evolve from knife pimpers to full-on custom knife makers and I know Alex is right there he's he's making some um, friction folders right now and I know I, I believe he's working on a frame lock um, not 100% sure on that but 
I think I've seen a few things on his videos where he was working on something. So he's going to be pumping out nice, but he's been so busy doing pimp jobs that he hasn't had time. So, But it's cool to see him evolve like that. Um, hopefully they continue to pimp nice because there's something about buying a, a, a production knife and then having it pimped to your likings, which... You know, there won't be another one like it out there. I mean, there's not going to be another one. Someone might, someone else might say, oh, I want the same thing done. You know, once they see this video, they might contact Alex and say, hey, I want my commander to look like that, you know, or I want my CQC-15 or whatever, you know. And I know he's done quite a few of these poor po boys, um, but I think this one's pretty unique with their unidirectional carbon fiber and the CC style. So pretty awesome. I'm pretty stoked about the knife. I've had a few Emersons. I do like them. Um, this one's smooth. It's got kind of a bit of a sticky lock, which is obviously nothing to do with Alex. It has, you know, that comes from the factory that way, and I'm sure it'll break in. There's a little sharpie on there, but the knife's pretty sharp. Um, I think it might. I like the way the thumb, thumb disc looks, but I know that Pete Gray makes those titanium discs, and there, he has like the monster size ones, the bigger ones, and I might go grab one of those because the one thing that I will say on this, and this is the standard how it is on the. I believe it's the same way on the original scale. Let's match it up. Yeah, you can see that he, you know, matches those up perfectly. So it's got this large um, cutout right here, and it, the thumb disc being the way it is, it may, I mean, it's easy to open slowly, but to to get it to flick open is, you know, it's kind of takes quite a bit of wrist action, and you have to really get it in there, and you know, that's not a huge deal, but I think a larger thumb disc would help with that. So I might add one of those. But other than that, I mean, I don't see any reason to modify this knife as it's been modified heavily already, and it's going to go right in my pocket today. It's going to kick the ZT out for the first time in a week. So if you haven't picked up one of these, and I'll probably end up doing a video on this now that I've carried it for about a week. Um, these are so such a mind-blowing value, like less than $200 for titanium, smooth as glass action, I mean, it's a Rexford design. It's got a, a steel lock bar insert. It's just buttery smooth. I mean, you cannot beat it. I think it's the best value out there in knives right now, personally. And they're starting to fly off the shelves, and they're having a hard time keeping them in stock. See, that, that's, that lock's a little sticky. So, But that can be fixed, you know, with a little Sharpie, and like I said. But I just want to show this one off. Just got in the mail today. Um, give props to Alex for his awesome work every knife that I've seen he's done that's been pimped. I've owned a couple are just awesome. I mean, his attention to detail. These bolsters match up absolutely perfectly. I mean, the cut across is exactly the same on both sides. Like, it's just, you know, you see production knives that don't have that kind of attention to detail, and, you know, that's a nice thing about someone, you know, hand-making things like this, and they just the attention to detail is just so much greater. So you took a, you know, Emersons aren't known for their fit and finish. That's one thing that everyone will say. It's like, well, it's an Emerson. You know, it's not really that great fit and finish from the factory, but, you know, they're hard-use knives, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, I like a good fit and finish, and having that, having this pimped by Alex was, you know, getting this knife pimped is, was a good idea because it will, it's fit and finish is ten times better than it would be on a normal Emerson, so... And for a fraction of the cost of a custom. I'm sure the customs have great fit and finish, but they cost over a thousand bucks. So, anyway, um, I think that's enough for today on this rambling video. I haven't done a knife video for a while now, so I wanted to do one today. And again, I'm going to leave Alex's, and here's his business card, which I know he's has no problem with having his address and stuff out there because this is, you know, he's publicly put it out there himself. You know, that's where you send his deer knives to get pimped, and that's his contact information. So I'll also put his email at the bottom of the description so you can contact him if you want a knife pimped, you want to get your Emerson done. Thinking about sending my 801 to uh, have some anodizing done on it because it's got it's just begging for some anodizing in these in these flutes right here. I mean, I thought it looks sick. So I just love this knife so much I haven't, it hasn't left my pocket, so I haven't wanted to send it anywhere. But anyhow, um, any questions or comments, leave them below and hope you enjoyed the video and please give it a like and, you know, share it with your friends or, or whatever. Have a good one. Oh, and also check me out on Instagram. Uh, same, same usernames on YouTube, Iceman84087. Um, that is my Instagram as well. So check me out on there. All right. Have a good one.